let's take another example to print what is the address of a variable now which means that let's get familiarized ourselves with the ampersand operator now for your sample program we remain the same so say include I was stream to make use of um, C out and then the main method and your variable int a is equals to 10 now here if you print you know that std c out a will give you 10 now let us start to use ampersand symbol just prefixing the variable name a see this ampersand is used here to print the address of variable a in a previous example that you have seen a has four bytes one two three four and now every address now every cell has an address for one byte so this is thousand one thousand two thousand three thousand four now here when you say a it wouldn't print all of them but it would print the starting address of your a variable so here the ad output would be 0x 1000 in this example and then you return 0 this is how you use ampersand symbol so this ampersand symbol is always prefixed to a variable name could it be uh, basic data type could it be advanced data type or derived data type like you can use it in front of a class in front of a structure right anything uh, so this is a, a prefixed operator which you would always uh, use to print the address of something there is no other meaning here so address of something and now when you use uh, this is also called reference operator in, the, in, in terms of when you are using copy constructor in uh, C++ now let us look into how the uh, dereference operator is used what is dereference operator right so dereference operator is your uh, pointer symbol right? okay now for the same program right so dereference operator is your star on your keyboard now same variable have I take so int uh, main st okay first let me declare the variable int a is equals to 10 now we, you don't need a dereference operator for a plain variable because this variable itself is declared to access within your program well so now if you want to access something that is referenced by a pointer then you can use this dereference operator what do I mean by that let's say I take an another variable star ptr so here the declaration prefixes the asterisk operator the star operator right so which means this is going to store an address now address of a is going to be stored in this pointer so that is when you use star as a operator now how do I uh, use it to print so when you you know C out a prints you 10 and then you know C out ampersand a prints address of a and similarly C out star ptr also prints the value at ptr which is the address of a right so which would be in our example it is like 0x 1000 now this also prints the same value this also prints the same value 0x 1000 now this is how you use the star operator dereference operator in uh, pointers now let us look at how do you use the indirection operator right this is a combination of two symbols hyphen and the greater than symbol here in the same example I could use PTR right so you when you say PTR and say arrow so this means that I'm getting inside the pointer variable now do I, do I have anything inside 
uh, the indirection operator right so i have a right i have a that is also uh, the same uh, which is pointing to ptr that is now i have this a right 0x 1000 here i have a value 10 i declared an another variable called ptr right which stores 0x 1000 so which means it points to this when i say star i am directly going right um, going and printing the 10 okay i'm sorry guys so i think here uh, when you say ampersand n you get 1000 when you say star ptr you are dereferencing that is 10 will be printed not zero, uh, 1000 only when you print ptr yes so here you get the value at ptr which is 0x 1000 when you say star ptr you will get the value at this address which is 10 so in this case a and star ptr prints the same ampersand a ptr prints the same my apologies so uh, that is when you are dereferencing it prints the value at the uh, address that is stored all right so here can you actually make use of this indirection operator no so when you have multiple variables inside that is when you are dealing with a structure when you are dealing with a class right so which are derived data types now there is a class name from the class name you want to go inside and refer to an another variable that is when you use indirection operator so we will learn this indirection operator when we are looking into more advanced examples so this is how uh, we use ampersand asterisk and indirection operator